What do the two best tennis players in the world have in common? Novak Djokovic and Rafa Nadal. What do they do very similar and what are they great at? I'll tell you, defending. They are so good at coming back from defense and moving to offense very quickly into a point. You can see that there are players that they, are, they like very long points. They don't have any kind of problems on going into defense because they know that at any time they're going to be able to move so quickly between defense and offense. And in today's video, we're going to tell you exactly their secrets of how do they do it and we're going to give you a few live drills in order for you to practice with a partner how to move from defense to neutral and offense in order for you to start winning more matches. So in the last video, Sergey was teaching you how to hit the forehand in open stance. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out right now because it's going to be extremely important for you in order to do this race. Because if you don't know how to hit the forehand in open stance, it's going to be so hard for you to do it on live ball drills. So, if you don't know how to do it yet, stop this video, go check out the drills to improve your forehand in open stance, then come back and implement these videos. So what do they do very similar that other tennis players don't do? First of all, they control their balance really good. After they hit a shot, you can see how their balance is completely straight. They're able to recover super quickly. Now, where do they hit those shots that where they are out of balance? They hit 90% of times either cross court or deep down the middle. Okay? They hit either high cross court top spin. Sometimes they hit a little faster but still cross court. So this way the other one is going to have a harder time hitting down the line. And also, we know that after you hit cross court, you are not going to have to recover down the middle. You can just stay around here so you are doing less steps to recover to a right position. So we're going to be focusing a lot on that part. Going cross court, you could also try to go deep down the middle, but the ball is going to need to be a little bit faster. And if your ball is shorter, you're going to be screwed up. So watch out with that. If you don't feel comfortable driving a little bit more on those shots that you are out of balance, work on hitting high cross court. That we're going to be working on this drill, but you could also go deep down the middle because you are not really giving any kind of angles to the other one to keep making you move. So especially on the WTA Tour, you can see so many ladies doing those kind of shots. Deep down the middle, don't give them any kind of angles to the other one and then get back into a neutral position on the point. But we're going to be focusing a lot on those heavy balls cross court and controlling your balance. So on the first drill, what we're going to do is we're going to rally on the forehand cross court, but after every shot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go back to the middle and touch the middle with my foot, okay? We're not doing this drill in order to recover down the middle and learn that because you should know already that after you hit a cross court shot, you don't need to recover all the way to the middle. We're just doing this drill for you to start learning to hit those shots out of balance. Because if I'm just staying here, what is going to happen is all the shots are going to come very comfortable to me and I'm not going to really be hitting out of balance. I will just be hitting like regular cross court shots. So I'm going to force myself to recover, touch the middle with my foot and then go back. So this way Sergey is going to be able to make me move and I'm going to start learning to hit those shots out of balance and I start learning. Second drill that we're going to do, we're going to make it even harder now. We're going to keep rallying with the forehand cross here, but this time what we'll have to do is we'll have to recover all the way to the cone and then go around the cone and go back. Okay, so we're going to be rallying forehand cross court. After I hit every forehand, I'm going to need to go to the cone, 
go around the cone and then go back, hit the next forehand, open stance, control your balance, okay, don't forget, hit that forehand stance, then stop, recover with a crossover step and go around the cone quick, and then keep doing that to keep the rally going. So, you're gonna make sure you recover quick, and you're gonna also make sure that your balance is very low as you record. You don't wanna be here very high because you're gonna lose your balance. And the same when you are hitting. You are hitting, make sure you stay low in order for you to control your balance. So if you feel like after you hit every forehand, you are losing your balance to the side, try to put the, your balance a little bit lower and that's gonna help you out. So now for the last drill, we're gonna start the rally with the back end cross court. So we're gonna go back and cross court and anytime Sergey wants, he's gonna try to go for a winner down the line. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna run to that ball, get into position in open stance, hit the cross court top spin ball that we have been working on and get back into the point. So after that, we're just gonna play the point out. Very important, keep that ball, keep that ball high and deep in order for you to go back into a neutral position. If your ball is, is my ball is short, what is gonna happen is he's gonna be in offensive situation and I'm gonna keep running. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid. So make sure you hit a heavy top swim ball cross court, get back into a neutral position, and sometimes even in an offensive situation, if your ball is good enough and he gives me a short ball. So make sure you work on that. And right after you hit, now this time you're not gonna have to recover all the way to the middle. If you record a couple of steps somewhere around here, it should be good enough as long as you go cross court. Now, if that difference for any chance you go down the line, you're gonna need to go all the way to the other side. So make sure you don't go down the line or you are gonna keep running. And we are not doing cardio tennis right now, so I would not suggest you to try to do that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and go practice these rules and let us know if they help you out with your game. My name is Aritza Teiza. And my name is Sergey Bella. And welcome to Time Valley of Tennis. <laughs> we... <laughs> why do you laugh? I just, why are we doing this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're just like, why is this? My name is Sergey Bella. <laughs> and now... <laughs>